To Saudi Arabia now, where an annual rally event is facing calls for cancellation from France. The event is called the Dakar Rally. It's the most grueling rally event in the world. Last month, even before the event began, a blast took place in Jeddah. A French buggy driver was injured. Saudi Arabia called the blast an accident, a technical mishap. The victim and his associates say it wasn't. They're calling it an act of terror. The government of France has launched an investigation. Ministers in France want the event to be called off. Here's a report. It's the most grueling rally event in the world. An off-road endurance competition where 500 adventurers from 60 countries take part. They come together for 15 days to traverse 9,300 kilometers in the world's finest deserts. All of this makes the Dakar Rally an incomparable human adventure. Since its inception in 1978, most of these adventures have been staged between Paris and the Senegalese capital of Dakar. But a series of security threats on this route forced the organizers to shift the race elsewhere. Since 2020, it has been entirely held inside Saudi Arabia for safety reasons. This year, the organizers say that safety has been compromised once again. The Dakar rally could be headed towards cancellation. Here's why. On the 30th of December, two days before the race began, a blast badly wounded a French buggy driver. 61-year-old Philippe Boutron. A support vehicle he was traveling in exploded shortly after it left a hotel in Jeddah. Boutron suffered serious leg injuries and had to be flown back to France, where he was placed in a medically induced coma. How did the blast occur? Who was behind it? No one knows. Saudi investigators have called it an accident. A case of technical failure in the car's engine. It says there is no criminal suspicion yet but it hasn't ruled out the possibility. France, meanwhile, is going by what the victims say. Boutron's team has claimed the explosion was a bomb attack, not an accident. And so the French government is treating it as such. It has ordered a terror probe into the incident. Leading anti-terror prosecutors have been given the task. They've launched a preliminary investigation into what they call multiple attempted killings linked to a terrorist group. French ministers, meanwhile, are making calls for the cancellation of this year's event. This includes Jean-Yves Le Drian, the French Minister for Europe and Foreign Affairs. He says it might be worth giving up on the sporting event. Last we checked, the event's organizer, France-based Amoury Sports Organization, was yet to make a call. It's being criticized for not taking the matter seriously enough. Bureau Report, We On, World is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.